Hello, good evening. I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Gethin Christine Morris, and I will be guiding you through about a 55 minute mandala flow, which essentially the first part as we move through our vinyasas, it will be in a circular motion instead of just, you know, straight which is fine too. All of it is fine. Um, but it is my favorite way to kind of explore the mat and go through asana. And I'd like to share that with you. As always, please modify, adjust, and adapt any pose whatsoever, even if that means taking a break, pausing the video, chilling as you're learning your alignment for your body type. Uh, please feel free to use a wall. I have a wall right here, um, a block, strap, bolster, pillow, anything that makes you feel comfortable and supported, especially as you are going through your vinyasa. Thank you so much and let's get to it. We're going to start in a standing position and you can have your feet hip width apart or you can just have them toe and heel touching. Take a deep breath in, bring the arms up, meet them in the center, bring them back down on the exhale, do it again. You rotate your fingers down, bring them up. Touch the fingertips, the palm, the thumbs, bring them down. As you're moving through this motion and keep going, you're going to be with the intention of accepting all the love and support from the universe. Just bringing in that peace and inner knowing and the very strong, impenetrable faith that everything is in divine order and in perfect timing. We are right where we're supposed to be exactly as it is. And then as we're going down and releasing, we're going to be giving that to the earth, any kind of blocks, negativity, any kind of mental, anything physical, anything that's not quite in alignment with us, down to the earth to be transmuted into beautiful compost for her to use as energy. And you're going to keep doing this. Exhaling. It's also warming up our arms and kind of elevating the heartbeat a little bit. And just bringing that circular movement into our body. One more cycle through. It's wonderful to smile too. And just go ahead and shine your palms forward, shine your heart forward. Feel the activation already starting in the legs. Go ahead and squeeze those kneecaps to activate the quads. You can even lift your toesies up off the floor, activating Padabandha, that foot lock, just to keep that energy going. Maybe activating those glutes, always engaging that core. Shining the heart forward. And I will offer up an intention and you can please use any that you would like, but I do invite you to just come into that Anjali Mudra once again, slightly pressing those thumbs against the sternum. A soft gaze is good here for Drishti. Just letting that energy, letting the lines kind of blur a little. This helps activate your third eye and it helps you practice to see the energies that are right here right here everything that there is to see we are coming and in the midst of the crescendo of in the entire year of 2022 we're still residing in that full moon energy we're coming into eclipse season we've got a lot of cosmic powerful things happening 
And I invite all of us to feel the oneness with the cosmos, feeling the oneness with each other as we practice together and feeling the oneness with the earth. Having this big circular motion of energy coming in and out, up and down and around our body, our aura, our energy field, and just reveling in that love. May our breath guide us to this oneness. And as things come up and surface in our practice, let it go. Okay. We're going to face one side of the mat, one of the shorter sides. So if I'm facing and I turn to my left, you'd be turning to your right. So your left side would be facing me if we want to stick with the lefts and rights. <laughs> All right. For Tadesana. You know what? Hold on. Just got to. That chair. I keep. There you go. I gotta. I need space. <laughs> Inhale. Bring the arms up. Exhale. Bring them down. And fold. Hinging from the hips. Supporting that low back. Bend the knees. Okay. If the flexibility is what we're working on and it's not quite there, bend the knees so you can have that straight back for a little before you round down. Start with that ujjayi breath, the victorious breathing, constricting the back of the throat. Inhale, halfway lift. You're working on a slight squeeze in the shoulder blades. Again, you can have a deep bend in the knees. It's okay. Exhale, coming down to a tabletop. Neutral position with the spine. The toes are flat on the floor, or you can curl them under. Inhale. Coming in for cow. Exhale, rounding over for cat. Go through this a few cycles. You can always support your knees by putting a blanket underneath. You can support your wrists by coming down to your forearms. If the wrists are just, you know, wanting something different. It would look a little something like that. Last cycle. Finding that neutrality again. And you're going to bring an inhale, raise the left hand up, hello, smile. Exhale, thread the needle through. Now you can have a block under your shoulder. You can use a pillow. You can wrap your arm around your back, placing the weight on the crown of your head. Well, not the, well, you know, the side crown. You can have it stretched out in front. Pushing up, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, right arm goes through. And sometimes when we modify on one side, we don't really need it for the other. And sometimes we do. So just check in with yourself. Always checking in. That feels a little like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, okay, curling the toes under, we're going to come into our first down dog, 
I was gauging whether or not that's where I wanted to go with this, but I do. I want to pedal it out. <sighs> There's a lot happening in Auto Mukesh Vanessa. There is a lot. So essentially. You want your palms slightly lifted. You want to be back and sinking into your heels. You uh, want to feel this energy coming from the heel all the way up here to the hip. And then coming from the hip, sh shooting through to the earth. Not to mention everything else that you might be feeling. <laughs> Inhale, we're going to gaze to the top of the mat, step, hop, or float. Feet meet the hands. F exhale, forward, fold. Inhale. Tadasana, straight up. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, open it up. Twist the torso. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open it up. Any direction you want here, that's fine. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full plank if you've got it. Otherwise, we're still in tabletop. Whatever is clever here for you. Always have that core engaged. You guys look good. Balls of the feet underneath the ankles, the wrists underneath the shoulders, and you're kind of puffing up in the upper back. Exhale, slow roll down. We've got our elbows squeezing into our sides. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, flip the tops of the feet on top of the mat. Squeeze the legs down. And lift up for baby cobra. Neutral neck here. It's, I hope you can see. Exhale down. You can have the forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift. You're doing good. Okay, done. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Push it on up. We're going to go right into down dog. Inhale, step, hop, or float. Feet meet the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, mini back bend. Stay here for a moment. Inhale, up. Exhale, coming on down. Inhale, half lift. We're going to go through vinyasa. You can always do tabletop into a cat cow, or I should say cow cat. <laughs> Whatever feels great. I'm going into upward dog. This might be too much. Uh, again, this is your practice. So we just did baby cobra. You can practice a full, a more full expression of cobra. Or you can lift the thighs off of the mat into upward dog, keeping the neck nice and in line with the spine. Sometimes it feels nice to look up. Really, it just is dependent on you. And then coming into down dog. All right. Take a breath. 
Inhale, look up. Exhale. As you come up and meet your hands, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. This is where our mandala is going to start. So we're going to lift the... Um, Let's do left. Let's we'll start lunar today. Let's, why not? Lift, uh, yes, the left leg up. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is going to be your right. <laughs> but only if I were facing you. Let me just think about this. I guess you're facing the same way. It's going to be your left leg. Okay. We're going to come into... A crescent lunge. <laughs> Your back heel is lifted. I hope you can like see mine. Okay. You got your knee over your ankle. Yeah, this is good. Now you can have your arms up here if this proves to be too much or just too much sensation than what we're wanting right now. Cactus. Anjali. You can even bring them back. Do a little, ooh, that feels nice. A little stretch in the back. We've got Anjali in the back. A little bind if you want. Okay. Inhale. Open up the back leg, open up the torso, okay? So this is our warrior two, and you know me. I practice authentic Iyengar yoga, so the back of the foot is not going to be parallel to the back mat, or I should say the side of the foot. It's not going to be like this. No, it's going to cause injury. So you're going to kick it in a little. So your toes are at an angle. Keep that knee over the hip. Twisting up here, yeah. Inhale, flip the palm over. Coming into warrior, reverse warrior. I was going to throw a reverse triangle. I'll do that in a minute. You can have a bind here or not. It's up to you. Inhale, facing front for five pointed star. Wiggle out the hips. Just a little. Okay. So you've got active legs here. And we're going to have, um, we're going to put our hands on our hips. And then we're going to take big hip circles. Right? Just forward, backwards, whatever feels good. Go one way and then the other. Just this lovely. <laughs> Perfect. You can point your toes out a little bit here if you'd like. Coming down for goddess pose or whores. Engage the core. All right. Inhale, reach up, five-pointed star. Now we'll do triangle. And because our feet should be three and a half, four feet wide apart. That's perfect. So really, you're just turning 
your left foot this way. Your right foot kicks in a little bit. So I think this proves my point. I think I had it backwards in the beginning, but it doesn't matter. You're following along. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead, reach forward from the waist. And you're going to tick tock the arms, north and south. And you can use a block on the outside of the ankle. It's like a weird angle, I feel. It's fine. Oh, or your the tips of your fingers are on the mat. The important part is I can lift up my hand here and still stay in the pose. So, I mean, really it's there to balance, to help balance. Your gaze can be forward, down, up. Slightly bend the front knee and then go ahead and come up. Straighten that leg out again. Do a nice reverse triangle. No weight here. And then we're going to bring our arms down for a vinyasa. So cool, you got the... It's just pretty funny. Oh, you can kind of see my head. And then meet and down dog. Same side again. All right. So it is your right foot. Well, you know, it's this leg. <laughs> Bring it through. Come on, now, now. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Flip the palms, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten that leg out. Come and meet for five-pointed star. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, coming down for goddess pose. Inhale, reach up one more time. Maybe lift the heels up if that feels good on the toes. Coming down. Inhale, five-pointed star. Rearrange the feet facing this way. Yes. Four, triangle. Exhale. Inhale. Reverse triangle. Exhale, cycle it down. Move through your vinyasa. All right, now the opposite side that we just did. Inhale, raise the leg, bring it through. So crescent lunge here. Each side might feel a little different. If anything surfaces, we let it bubble up. No judgment. And we just let it go. Beautiful. Now, coming into a warrior two. Warrior twos, the feet are about four and a half to five feet apart. Flip the palm over, coming into reverse warrior. And check your alignment. It's great to do self checks. And then coming into five point and star. Shake it out a little. Forward fold. So wide legged forward fold. You can have the toes pointed in or parallel, the sides of the feet parallel. And hinge from the hips, okay? Just coming straight down.
Hello. I'll face the side for a second so you can see. If you're here, that's great. If you're more down, that's great. If you're like bent and doing this, that's cool. If you're bending the knees, shoot for a straight spine. Okay, and we're in nice, deep, as what that means for you, wide-legged forward fold standing. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Now, kind of toe heel your feet back. Coming into a triangle. A little shorter distance between the feet. Hinging from the waist, right? I have my block here so you can see. You can have it down on the long side. Oh. Or you can have it up. Yeah, I see people doing a little bit of both. If it helps, just bend that knee a little bit as you come up to standing, straighten it back up again, and come into reverse. And then we're gonna come on down for your vinyasa. One more time, same leg. Lift, coming into that crescent lunge. Inhale. Oh. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> warrior two. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Five pointed star. Ah. <laughs> Exhale, goddess. Inhale. Exhale, turn those feet. Feel stable. Triangle. Inhale. Reverse. Exhale. Very good. I want you to take three rounds of breath here before coming to seated. Great job. Everybody doing good? Okay, good. <laughs> I need a sip of water. Take a sip of water if you'd like. Okay. I wanna do a little more with the back and with the core and do a little inversion stuff. So let's do some core. We all love it. You know you do. Just kidding, I don't know. I love basically everything about moving the body so 
this could be something that you really hate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Polarizing reactions and emotions. Coming on down onto your back. Also, that was the mandala. Everybody like it? Yeah. Going around a circle for all of those beautiful things. I love that. I'm glad glad you gave it a chance. That's wonderful. Uh, interlace fingers the opposite direction. And then... Oh, this thing. Let's see if that helps. We're going to do some... Yeah, I think that'll help. Bicycles. Yeah, how do I feel about bicycles? Yes, let's do bicycles. So you can lift your head off the mat a couple inches, but please relax the neck. We're going to flex the feet towards our face. And we're going to start. And we're going to cycle slow. And you're reaching up, dragging it down. The slower you go, the more you are requiring of your muscles, the stronger and the more control you get. Okay, now let's go backwards. How do we do that? Yeah. Good. Wonderful. Oh, I went a little faster there. Slow. I watched someone else going slower and it reminded me. Okay, bring it up. Bring both feet up. Go ahead and point your toes and then drag them down. Hold them a couple inches above. Do a little scissors. Over, under, over, under. Come on up. Down. And you're going to switch ways. Can you switch ways? <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. Okay, just keep going. <laughs> oh. And when you get down, go ahead, release. Nice. All right, let's do, uh, like, let's turn over. Wonderful, we're doing good. Okay, let's do, I just love working on the back. The spine is where it's at. All right. Coming on down into a prone position, we're gonna grab the outsides of our feet. This is where a strap is handy. Grab the strap. You wrap it around the tops of your feet so you have one hand and one hand holding the strap, right? You're holding it back here to help with the grip. Have your knees together as close as they can be. Shoulders are drawing naturally in the direction that we're pulling. Take a deep breath in. Through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, kick. Dhanurasana, floor bow. Some people will be all over the map with this one. And whatever it is, is perfect. Just kick. Yeah. And exhale. Good. Let it go. Put your right over your left and then put your forehead down on the mat. 
or uh, on top of your back of the hands. <laughs> Do it again. So your breath will naturally guide your body. Your rock a little bit. That's why it's called a boat. Could be the shape, don't know, but you know, it's okay. Deep breath in. Let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Kick. Smile. <laughs> Exhale, release. Go ahead, windshield wiper out the feet. Relax the neck. <sighs> nice. such a good strengthener especially like in the legs the quads the hammies and it gets all parts of the spine I love it <laughs> but it doesn't matter what I love because some people might not so just forget that okay come into where your feet are either curled under or they're flat. We're gonna do camel. I'll stay to the side. Ustrasana. Okay, inhale, bring it up. Exhale. Can you use a block back here? To, um, you can use two, ideally. <laughs> if I can show you, to help you find something to reach. You might want to have it in the middle of your calves. Right? And we are... Let's see if this helps. Arching of the thoracic, not all of it. We want an arch. We want the arch to come from the upper back. So if you had a block, feel it still without having to grab onto your heels. And if you were down here, you're still reaching through the thoracic and either you're letting your cervical go or you're tucking your chin. Bring your hands to your lower back unfold and straighten and then come sit uh, sitting hips over your heels just for a moment so that one such a powerful heart opener and oh it feels so good uh, also it can be very intense and when I first started doing it, I did not think it felt so good. So have compassion. A lot of things can surface there. See, notice, release. Know that we are in a safe space and that all of this beautiful love is being reciprocated as we give, we receive. So that's nice, especially when dealing with intensities. 
Okay, coming up on our feet. I want to check in here real quick. Let's do an Adi Shodana, just real quick. Uh, bring the first and the second finger to your middle of the forehead or your uh, Ajna, third eye. Block the right, inhale. The left, block the left, exhale. Right, inhale. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Did you notice that? Balance. Got a little bit, a little bit better. Not only does it balance out our nervous system, it balances out the flow of the air, which also balances out how we stand. <laughs> okay. What should we do? We can do, I love doing quick tree. Tree is uh, lovely. We did a lot of hip, external, wonderful things in our vinyasas. So bring up any, any leg that you like and squeeze. Now either you're going to be up here where your hip is basically at the base of your root chakra. Uh, not your hip, your heel. <laughs> or maybe your toes are on the mat and your heel is on the inside of your leg, your standing leg. Open your hands to receive. You just uh, avoid the knee, right? Below or above. Deep breath. Bring it on down. Root. Open to receive. Very good. You can bring it on down. You can stay, take a breath. She's up. Okay. And then let's see where we're at. Oh, yes. Okay. Inhale. Bring your arms up. Exhale. Do this a couple times. How do you feel? A little different? Yes. No. Maybe so. Coming on to uh, an inversion. We can work on crow or uh, we can work on side crow or you can just essentially work on whatever make like if we do on the wall we do that's inverted on the wall so if you want you can do legs up the wall and chill on your back uh if you need like a little break and you want the blood to flow in a different way okay or we can work on getting our knees into our armpit, well, armpit area, and essentially rocking forward into a crow. You want to have your gaze really far out, as far out basically as you can. Uh, and sometimes it helps to have a block here in case, you know, 
a bonk happens. And you're using your core to lift up. So you have your legs on your triceps. And it can be down. I mean, like, wherever you're at, right? You work on it. Go ahead and practice that. Or you can practice headstand where you're holding the back of your head, coming up onto the crown. Now this one's nice to practice on the wall so you have something to go up against. But you do want all of the weight on the crown of the head. You got a tripod going with your elbows to your fingers, your hands. Low. You practice that as well. And when you're ready, we're going to do that for a little bit. Uh, you can come into, you know, like I love um, legs up the wall. So pretend there's a wall right here. I can just come into any kind of supine pose help you ground back down because we are going to start to wind down a little bit i have a few few more minutes to play and remember that's what yoga is play among many 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 other things You guys are doing really, really great. <laughs> really, really, really wonderful. Okay, so I think I'd like to do a little bit of bridge and a little bit of wheel before we wind it down. So bridge and wheel are a little are obviously different, but bridge is a really great starting place to building strength in the spine um, and it also you know i've helped students before ah that's what i'm missing the block you can place the block underneath your low back to help get into a position of lifting up. So with your hands flipped over and your wrists by your ears, you have this here to support. This is for wheel. This is also a nice supported bridge pose. It's, um, and it's also helpful when you're maybe holding on to stuff that's stopping you from full expression of wheel or when you're building up the muscle memory and, and all of that flexibility for wheel. Take a deep breath in and exhale. You're gonna push into all four limbs and then lift up. Now, if that's like too intense, you're gonna come back down and find that block before you remove the block and come back all the way down. But if you've got a block and you want to be in a supported bridge, 
or a supported wheel for the first part. Roll your shoulder blades underneath, reach for your heels. Enjoy, this is a similar heart opener experience. Receiving all that there is to receive, all the love, all the peace, all the joy. And then if you'd like to go one step further, we're gonna go into wheel, taking a deep breath in. And exhale, release. And deep breath in, pressing up and over. Rolling down, Ooh, rolling down, <laughs> and maybe bringing those heels up. I still have the block under me. That's nice. Nice little counter. Wonderful. All right. Now we're gonna come into maybe that half lotus pose again, or full, kind of depending on how you feel in your body right now. And maybe do a little bit of circles, just to feel, just to feel. <sighs> Good. And let's do a little bit, yeah, let's do some twists. So we can cross our ankle over the knee and you can have the heel wherever that uh, is comfortable for your knee, for the bottom part. So you can put a bolster, a pillow, a blanket, anything under that knee. The goal is to have the heel by the hip. And then you're gonna bring that ankle on the other side of the knee. And you're just slowly going to rotate and use your breath for this. Inhale, reach up with the spine, find that expansion in the space, the spaciousness in there, and rotate with an exhale, very slight. Inhale, exhale, rotate maybe a little more, maybe it's not even noticeable. Inhale. And you can have your elbow on the other side you can hold it, you can have it up, you can have it down. And take really long, slow, deep breaths. And then finish out with your head looking back behind your shoulder. and release bring it up shake it out a little and if you want need to use any sort of support for that foundation put it there bring your heel to your hip make sure your hips are on the floor nice and planted and so you can um grab your uh what <laughs> not your forearm top of your lower arms if you want, if that helps give you some support. Sometimes, you know, that's, we need that. Or you can bring your elbow to the outside and then we'll do it a little different on this side. Starting in the lumbar, you wanna take a deep breath in, fill it up and rotate slightly in the lower back. Inhale. Exhale, find a little more space in the thoracic. And then inhale. 
all the way through to the tip of the cervical. Okay, wonderful. Oh, yes, and just do a little bit of that. And where are we at? Perfect. So we are at a perfect place to come in to happy baby, to roll around a little. More importantly, to relax and enjoy Shavasana. Through our physical movement, we have shifted a lot of energy. I invite you to come back to your intention as we lay in a happy baby and coming back for Shavasana because seeing where we're at with our intention, maybe it's changed, maybe it hasn't, maybe oh, you have a, a more openness, hopefully, in your body, in your mind, in your spirit, in your emotions. Mm-hmm can straighten out the legs and kick them around. Little sweetness. And I'd love for you to come and lay down and let that energy settle. If you'd like to be in a, in a uh, supported fish for your Shavasana, you can do that, which is... It can be nice. You can have it flat or you can have it up for the block. You know. We're just going to close our eyes. I would dim the lights and all of that, but hopefully you've got that system set up. You can listen to relaxing, calm music. Releasing that ujjayi breath, letting it go. And I am going to hold the space for you to relax. By being fully present for you. This is always the point in my class when we're in person where I go around and give little foot rubs or little shoulder rubs or a little head massage. So if you have anyone, if you're practicing with them, it's so, so nice to do that <laughs> for each other. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to offer a little mantra, sat, nam. Truth is our essence. My essence is truth. Followed by short ohms or three rounds of ohms. They're not short. <laughs> so please stay in Shavasana. Or find yourself to a seated position. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat 
Sart We are one. We are one with the cosmos, with each other, with our earth, our beautiful mother earth. And I thank each and every one of you for being here today. Please join me in the sacredness of your voice and your home for Om, Aum, Ah. The light in me sees, knows, and honors the light in each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Namaste. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.